Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a red and white bucktail. The hook I have in a vise is a size 8 streamer hook. This is 4 extra long. I'm going to use red thread. I'm going to start it behind the eye. I'm only going to bring it back a short way. Maybe about two, two and a half eye lengths from the eye. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put on silver tinsel, flat silver tinsel. This is silver and gold. I'm going to tie it in so that I see the gold side. I'm going to tie it in up front here. I want to keep that towards my side. I'm just going to lock it in. Then I'm going to take oval silver tinsel. I'm going to tie that in right with it. Then we're going to bring that back to the rear. I want to get some nice, good, close wraps here. And the reason we're doing this is so that we will have a nice level body by tying it in at the front and bringing it to the back we won't have any kind of lump we're going to bring that right to the back to where it would hang at the barb And then I'm going to bring the thread forward again. And I'm going to try to keep these nice and tight too. This is a will be a good fly for trout, especially in smaller sizes. This size size isn't bad either, but it will also be a good fly for smallmouth bass in rivers, in lakes. Crappie would probably hit this. In rivers and lakes, you just, uh, or in, in rivers, you simply cast it and let it go with the current. Cast it down and across or directly across and let it swing across in the current. You can add weight to this if you'd like. And we're going to bring that thread up to about one eye length from the eye. Now I'm going to take the silver tinsel. I'm going to bring that in front of the oval. And we're going to wrap this forward. And we're crossing, we're overlapping that by one half. Make sure you keep it tight. Keep that nice and tight and you won't have to worry about it coming apart for you. And I'm pulling pretty good on this. You can see I'm bending that hook there a little bit. I prefer to wrap in most situations instead of using my rotary feature on the vise. I think I just get it tighter that way. I'm going to bring that right up to the thread. We're going to tie that off. Make sure you get some good tight wraps so that it doesn't unravel on you. Then we're going to trim off the excess. Now we're going to take our oval tinsel and it doesn't matter if you wrap, counter wrap this or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it. And this I'm going to use my rotary feature so I can get pretty even palmering. That a little bit. There we go. And we're going to tie that off. 
Make sure that you wrap that tight also. Go ahead and trim that away. Now our first material wing is going to be white bucktail. And I have some in the hair stacker. You want to put it in with the tips down into the hair stacker. This is the cut ends. Let me get that nice and straight. I'm going to measure that up. I want that to be about uh, one and a quarter the body length. So I have the, uh, the length. I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to cut this. Okay, I cut these at an angle and I'm going to kind of hold them up a little bit. I'm going to start tying them in there. And we won't have to worry about trimming anything. It's going to be locked right in. There we go. Nice, right on top. Just slightly around the sides. Now we're going to take some red bucktail and we're going to put that in our hair stacker. And we want a little bit less of the red bucktail than we did, than we had for the white. Take them out of our hair stacker. We're going to measure them and we want them to be just the length of the white or just slightly longer. I'm going to size them on there and I'm going to trim them the same as I did the white. I'm going to hold them in place just like we did with the white. We have them right on top. Now I have four strands of peacock hurl. I'm going to tie them in. It doesn't matter if they're real long because we can tr trim them. But I'm going to try to get them close. I want them just slightly longer than the tail itself. We're going to tie them right on top. Just put a few wraps in there to secure them and then you can trim it. We're going to secure that. Make a nice head here. Get all of those little fuzzies tied in. Take our whip finish and whip finish that. Trim that scissor. Trim that thread. Take our scissors and get a hold of the peacock curl and just curl that like you do a ribbon. Just so it kind of arches on it there a little bit. Now you can put head cement on it and use it just like that. Or you can take a little bit of paint and put eyes on there. Or you can take your 3D eyes and use them. I'm going to choose some uh, three millimeter halo eyes. Just get them on your bodkin. Let me get this side first. Just slide them right out. Slide that bodkin out. Put that on there. Now I'm going to take my Deer Creek Diamond Hard UV Resin. I'm going to put a little bit in between them. Get them locked in.
Whew, gotta get my bodkin needle on that. Take that and move that around. Clear out that eye. Gonna put a feather through it. Take my UV light and hit that just a couple of seconds. And here we have a red and white bucktail streamer. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.